a lost world of sheltered bays, exposed coasts, stunning mangrove forests, jungle framed inland rivers, the rich marine life which earns this area the title Galapagos of Panama. This is Isla Coiba. Come with us as we discover this amazing area over 13 days with our folding track kayaks. Let's go battle Coiba! My name is Jamie Sharp and along with Ali Carroll we have travelled to Panama to complete a self-supported sea kayak expedition around Isla Coiba. We will kayak 70 nautical miles around the island then we cross back to the mainland of Panama and finish up back in the town of Santa Catalina, a total distance of 100 nautical miles. Um, yeah, this is going to be the first time actually that I've paddled these boats with any gear in them, so that's kind of exciting. In part one we looked at cold water multi-day trips in the track. Now, in part two, we take you to the tropics. We will expand on safety must for the track. Touch on how the track performs and surf. Show you basic ways of maintaining and repairing your track in the field and give you some suggestions for personal customizations to improve your comfort in extended trips. Plus, discuss some wildlife issues particular to traveling in the tropics. How's it going, Ellie? First epic expedition in a sea kayak and you're in another country. <laughs> and you're about to do a 12-day-er on the coast of Panama around a tropical island that's full of crocodiles and snakes and monkeys. Oh my god, I don't, I don't even, it's like so overwhelming and so beyond me that I can't even have expectations. Yeah, I don't know, I'm pretty excited for the jungle at night and just seeing what each day brings. When traveling with the track, apart from the usual safety gear shown here, you will also need to bring your inflatable storage bags to create secondary flotation. A spear track jack, as currently the jacks are not repairable in the field. You'll need to bring along a repair kit to deal with kayak skin damage. And as discussed in part one, bring along the optional seesaw. I love to eat that thing. One of the reasons that Ali disliked the seesaw was that it was hot and sticky in the tropics. However, one time coming into the beach, Ali did get taken by a wave and ended up swimming. The seesock made it very easy to empty the kayak on the beach and proved the fact that it is a great addition to the safety kit. Three days into the trip and we were awestruck by the rich beauty of this area and the surf gently built as the coast became more exposed. I've never really done overnight trips already were at the most distance I've ever paddled in a boat. I'm like, okay, hey, this is a folding boat. This is like, you know, I'm trying to compare it to any regular fiberglass or plastic boat and, you know, what things I like about it with the things I don't. In dealing with surf launches and landings, the loaded track performed great. The extra weight did not make the boat unruly and dragging the boat loaded onto the beaches caused no damage to the skins. So how's that? If it's not hard enough to just choose your timing in the surf to get out, you've got to deal with a six foot crocodile swimming around in the surf with you. Oh my god, my heart is still kind of pounding a little bit because not only am I not very good at launching in surf, uh, I've never done it with a crocodile. <laughs> and he was just coasting along, you could see the whole body. <sighs> Nerves. It was pretty exciting. No worries though, he was just interested in what we are up to, going, what the heck are you crazy gringos doing on my surf break? In general, crocs in the Americas are not aggressive to humans. In the tropics you will need less clothing, however you will need more water. Ellie and I carried 18 litres each and knew we could refill at streams along the way. Careful planning here was needed to maximise the amount of food we could carry in these boats. Repackaging food prior to the trip was essential and that led to us being able to carry at least 15 days worth of food with room to spare. Along with catching fish as a supplement, we could have extended out to 18 days easily on this trip. Another key to packing efficiently on the trip for us was to bring along a small Dutch oven. Coupled with another small pot, this enabled us to do all our cooking and our baking using a cooker and fire. The biggest risk to our food on this trip was the hermit crabs. It required us to hang the food or simply place the food in the kayaks to stop these voracious scavengers with their tree climbing abilities from demolishing our food. 
Simple maintenance procedures on the metal and mechanical parts is essential in avoiding failures, particularly with the jacks. Pre-applying a protective coating like all natural Lanox before the trip will help prevent corrosion and technical failures. We found giving the tracks a fresh water rinse when possible was a great idea, and if Lanox was absent, then cooking oil worked wonderfully at temporarily lubricating and protecting the parts. Carrying a track repair kit is essential. Sections or rolls of Tier A Type A tape along with a tube of Aquaseal is all you really need. Both the Aquaseal and the Tier A bond strongly with the skin of the track and are extremely durable to abrasion. When dealing with larger tears in the field, combining the two products creates a very strong and permanent repair. To improve my comfort and usability of the track on an extended trip, I chose to add some Nimbus kayak hip pads to improve the control of the boat seat cushions to avoid numb bum and then we attach reflective bow lines for night visibility securing to trees and for providing something to hold on to while snorkeling and I added on a deck bag to give me just a little bit more room for those regularly required items understand basic treatment of bites and stings and when you set up camp, clear leaves and debris from around your tent in order to reduce accidental encounters with snakes, scorpions and spiders. Okay, it's a big step. We've now officially, officially left Cueva. To summarize, the track proves very able and very durable while tripping in the tropics and dealing with surf. Pack simply and with intent to allow at least 15 days worth of food to be easily stored. Though hot and sticky, the sea sock is still a must for surf and capsize scenarios. Carry on top of the normal kayak safety essentials the track specific safety gear. Coat, lube and rinse jacks or risk failure. It is easy to customize your track for personal comfort and needs on extended trips. And before you head off, learn about the tropics and the local flora and fauna. Awesome trip, stunning, one of the best amazing kayaking trips I have been on yet. When you come out into camp at night and you just pull the whole thing out, everything's right there, it's waterproof, and it actually does just make it easier. There's not like a huge difference in having this kind of setup of a boat. Okay, oh yeah, so we're back, it's over, we're done. We didn't time it with the high tide, so the tide's way out and we got all this distance to walk back. Just, just spectacular.